Hi everybody, <clears throat> I'm here with my uh, brand new copy of Sekigahara, a game that I must admit I did not pre-order because I, um, I usually am not a big fan of block games and not because they are bad games, um, for example I love uh, the Hammer of the Scots, which I think is a great game, but because I really had problems in uh, managing blocks on the map. I get to a point in which there is not enough room for the blocks for me to, to, to play easily. And uh, I'm not very comfortable with the, uh, uh, with the step loss mechanism of blocks, uh, that you keep flipping the, the block and so on. So, in this regard, this game uh, um, it's for me a real pleasure to play because um, it plays nicely both in terms of rules and in terms also of map space. Um, this game is beautiful. Um, I was recommended to, uh, to uh, give it a try and I'm happy I did it. It's, it's, it's nice. I mean, first of all, uh, it's a piece of art. The, the map, uh, the blocks, uh, the cards, um, everything is high quality and looks just beautiful. Looks just beautiful. Look at these stacks of, of, of blocks. They, they, they're amazing. They just look great. Golden and black. They just look really great. Uh, this is how the map looks at the end of one game. Huh? The rules are very easy. It's like, what? Uh, 12 pages and the rules are very very well written. This is something that I also appreciate in this game. Um, very well written. The game is tr truly easy to play. You read the rule and uh, you, you're gonna have a few doubts while you play but you're gonna find all the answers in here. The game is, is, is well done and the rules are very very nicely nicely written. Um, so this video is basically for people like me who didn't maybe buy this game in first place and want to have reasons to buy this game. This game uh, is really worth the money you pay for and is absolutely not expensive for the quality of the game, per se as mechanics, and for the quality of the material. It's a, it's a great bargain. Um, this game, uh, <clears throat> I love it because, as I said, I don't like block games because the, the, the maps get all cluttered with blocks. Here, since the box are rectangular, you can just stack them on top of each other and you can have you can have a synoptic view of your blocks anytime. So you can always see what kind of blocks you have since they are piled in this way. And this is very nice. You move stacks of blocks, part of stacks, whatever. Um, and uh, <clears throat> what makes this game very interesting is that it doesn't matter how many blocks you manage to eliminate. Uh, uh, there is one block that is important to eliminate, which is the block of the main leader, the main clan leader, that is the one that has uh, three bullets here on the banner. Or in the case of, um, I don't know how to pronounce it, in the case of the uh, Ishida clan, you can uh, uh, occupy the Osaka castle and uh, eliminate these units and you also win the game. So let's say that something that is interesting is that the Ishida clan has two kind of reinforcements uh, but there's also two ways of and also gets a special unit here but gets two way of losing the game so to speak. Um, if you don't kill the leader and this is the interesting thing uh, 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 you're gonna count victory points and uh, you're gonna count victory points according to each resource, city and each castle that you uh, either occupy or that you have been the last one to pass through. So, m uh, in this game uh, moving around units in a strategical way is very very important. But really what I like is, is, is how the map is designed because you gotta keep track of which places you, uh, uh, you control and uh, <clears throat> if you look carefully here there is the capital here there is Kyoto that is the capital of the Ishida 
um, uh, clan, and here is Tokugawa, which is the uh, no, here is Edo, sorry, which is the capital of the um, Tokugawa, and uh, and here is Edo, which is the capital of the Tokugawa clan. Um, interestingly enough, uh, you can see that the unit stacked here in Aizu which is a reinforcement place, apparently seem to be isolated. But it's also true that if they advance this way and you move black blocks here in order to occupy uh, this city and to fight this castle here, there are no routes that join these two roads. So on one hand it's true, this has been enlightened in some video, that this side is, is somehow uh, uh, um, separated from the rest. So in a sense that Ishida gets the main reinforcement here. But it's also true that they, they, have, they have, let's say, a clear path here to Edo, that is the capital. Um, it's also very interesting the fact that you have blocks here on... Uh, uh, um, on the west of the map, uh, Tokugawa blocks here, and you can go around uh, and uh, gain uh, easily and easily gain victory points uh, by taking around units. The fact that there are several ways of of, of winning these games it makes it very very strategical, and uh, and it is really not just about engaging in battles here, and uh, it's very much about movement. For example, in this area here. Uh, Tokugawa have a few blocks here at the beginning in the initial setup and there is this route that goes around uh, you can uh, somehow easily encircle the enemy Tokugawa start here too, they can move up here um, the map is, is really really well designed there is a main route here in the mid zone uh, but as I said uh, um, the west and the east part of the maps are the most interesting uh, parts of the map. Here is where most of the strategic movements and the choices are are made. Um, this is a game that doesn't play uh, solo. You need an opponent, so make sure that you have someone to play this game with because it's absolutely not solitaire friendly. And uh, in and it's very very fun to play. Uh, I repeat, I love this this. I love the fact that you have a stack of blocks and you can keep track of the blocks that you have. You can look at them all the time. You don't have to worry about how many steps, about keeping the blocks in line uh, or how to fit them. Here in the map, here you have enough room to, to engage in a puzzle and then you have enough room to deploy your blocks here. It's just a beautiful map. It's a mounted map board, it's just great. Um, I don't think this was really a review, I think this was more a way of sharing my uh, very positive impressions about this game. Um, I'm not trying to advertise GMT um, products, but I really think that if you didn't get this game, uh, you should. It's very very nice to play and um, I had the chance of playing this this weekend and I hope to be playing this next weekend again. Uh, um, I guess this is it. Thank you very much for watching.